We at Wondong Primary School would like to show our respect and acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which our school is situated. As elders past and present, we extend a warm welcome to everyone who visits our school. We acknowledge and show respect for Aboriginal culture and heritage and the ongoing relationship that traditional owners have with their land. In a moment, our national anthem will begin. Girls and boys, I'd really love to see you all trying your hardest to sign in Auslan our national anthem. Giving it a go helps us all learn what those signs are. So looking forward to seeing you all have a go. And I like it when our teachers even send that through to me to see all of you having a go. So stand quietly for the singing of the national anthem. Australians hold their arms and kiss for freedom, one and three. With gold and strong and wealth, we took our pioneers bred by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our first assembly for 2022. It is a wonderful part of the year as I said to all of our grades yesterday when I went to visit. It's a wonderful time of the year where we get to perhaps write a new story for, for the year. Um, it's, a, it's a new beginning, it's a new start so I can't wait to see and hear what the new story is for each of you this year. There's gonna be so many achievements and celebrations and I look forward to celebrating those with you. Uh, a big well done to all of the girls and boys who I've spoken to have told me that they have found a new friend and made some new friends already this year. And even in our classrooms, it's great to see that there's that level of high expectations and our girls and boys trying really, really hard to impress their teacher and do the right thing. Well done. Big thank you. You'll hear from um, our student leaders for today. We're going through a process of leadership right now in our five sixes and I look forward to hearing those speeches. But today we have some children in five six who put their hand up to help with assembly. So well done and thank you for showing some initiative and thank you for putting up your hand for what can be a really overwhelming process of being videoed and filmed for assembly. So thank you to those students who really went outside their comfort zone to do that today and do a really great job. Well done. Have an amazing term, have an awesome time, enjoy the sun while we've got it, even though it tends to dip into cold like it was yesterday. Have a great term, everyone. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody has had a wonderful, wonderful first week back. 
a very big welcome to all of our brand new students to Wandong Primary School this year, all of our foundation students and all of the students in grades one to six um, that have settled in and we are welcome to our school. I hope this week has been a really special and wonderful one. Now today is a very exciting day because it's our first assembly and there's lots of things, lots of exciting things that we have to look forward to this week. Now I know in your classes this week you would have spent lots of time unpacking what our school values are and, and learning about our school-wide positive behaviour support approach and how we can learn how to do the right thing in our school grounds and earn lots of rewards for doing the right thing and making some really wonderful choices. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about today boys and girls is house points. Now house points is one of our awards um, at this school and any teacher or any education support staff can give you some house points if you make good choices in line with our expected behaviours matrix. So making good choices like packing up after yourself or being a kind friend to somebody on the yard or um, maybe even walking really sensibly around the school. These sorts of things, boys and girls, will get you lots of house points. Now, at the end of each term, the winning house does um, get an icy pole and gets to come in their house colours in Out of Clothes Day, which is really exciting. Now, there are four houses at Wandong Primary School. The first one is Davin, and Davin is Green House. The second one is Picket, and Picket is Blue House. The third is yellow, that is Lightwood House. And lucky last is Arkell, that is Red House. That actually won every single term last year in 2021. So it will be very interesting to see which house takes out the leaderboard this year. If you are new to our school, um, whether you're in foundation or, or a different grade level, please make sure you take the time to ask your teacher which house you're in. Because whatever house you're in today will be the same house that you're in when you're in grade six. Um, so you stay in the same house every year and every year the leaderboard resets. So even though our Cal House won last year, we're all the way back to zero now and it's anybody's game who can win this term. So really, really exciting. Make sure you're making good choices. Over the coming weeks in assembly, we will be having lots of um, videos that, that are demonstrating students doing the right thing. And so many of you always do the right thing. So it'll be really exciting to watch some of these behaviors and really hone in on what positive behavior looks like across the different areas of our school. Now, next exciting thing, I know lots of you have probably been wondering what this guy got up to over the holidays. Well, I am happy to tell you that he has had a bit of a shower. He looks like he's got a bit of a fresh new do here and he is anxiously awaiting where he will be going, which classroom he will be going to visit first. Now, this week there won't be an attendance award because this week I'm gonna take the time to explain to everybody again how you win one of our little puglies and get big pugly to come and visit your grade. So boys and girls, attendance is really important and attendance means coming to school each and every day. Now sometimes of course we can't come to school because we're unwell and that's okay. But when we're not unwell, I know everybody has those mornings where they're feeling a bit tired and they might tell mum or dad or, or whoever's at home that they don't wanna to come to school today. Now, if you're not at school, that means you miss out on lots of really, really wonderful learning um, and you'll be a little bit behind when you come back the next day. So it's really important to be at school each and every day when you're feeling well. And how you win a Pugly each week is your grade needs to have the highest attendance across the whole school for the whole week. Now I did go into one class, um, I've been into lots of classes this week, but I went into 34G and 34G was really excited to tell me that they all had been at school every single day this week. So every single student in their class had been at school every single day, which I am seeing is quite common in the first week back. So that's what we wanna keep going boys and girls, every single day at school. So next week, what you have to work towards is coming to school each day and your teachers will make sure they're checking that in. And what I do just before assembly next week is I'm gonna calculate all of the numbers and the, the grade that has been at school the most, all the students that have been at school the most, will get to keep one of these Puglies in their grade for the whole year. And you will have this big Pugly as a visitor in your grade for the week. So he'll wander across to your grade and he will stay with you for the whole week for coming to school and doing a really good job. So that's our second thing. Now the last thing that I wanted to talk about today 
is our school values. Now we have three school values, boys and girls. I'm not sure um, whether our new foundation students would know them yet, but everybody else I know is probably nodding their head and probably is starting to say them out loud. They are pride, kindness, and curiosity. And all of these values oversee everything that we do at this school. Um, so it's really, really important um, that you're always showing positive behavior in line with our school values and making our school a really, really safe um, safe and happy place to be. I know our grade sixes are very busy working on their leadership speeches and a lot of those speeches will um, revolve around how they show our school, school values and how they would make a good leader. Um, now, in terms of our school values, if you do do something outstanding, um, you will get a postcard. So keep an eye on your letter boxes. The postcards um, will be sent to your house and you won't even know they're coming. All of our teachers across the school are looking out for people that are constantly doing amazing things. Now to get a postcard, your behavior is super, super amazing. And it might be amazing learning that you're doing in your classroom. You might be taking risks when you're finding something's a bit tricky, but you're challenging yourself and you've got a great growth mindset or you might be really helpful or kind to someone out on the yard um, that's hurt themselves. Maybe you stop your game and you go and help somebody else. There's lots of ways, boys and girls, to get a postcard. So keep doing the right thing. I can't wait. I've just restocked all of our postcards. I can't wait to start seeing them fly out the door and into people's litter boxes. So boys and girls, have a wonderful weekend. I'm sure everybody is really tired. I can't wait to get into everything um, and share with you our House Points leaderboard next week and look at our attendance winners. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. We will see you on Monday. Bye for now. This week, Wandong Primary School students came back to school after having an amazing holiday. The foundation kids came back on Tuesday. Hopefully had a great day. Next week, we have school photos on Thursday and then swimming trials on Friday. Anyone else? Five, six, Z, and what was the best part of your week? Going outside. Good job. From five, six, M, and what was your favourite part of coming back to school? Uh, I enjoyed seeing my friends again. This is Alexis in 3-4-H. What was your favourite part about coming back to school? Learning new things. This is Slater and he is in 3-4-H. What was your favourite part about oh, oh. Meeting new friends. This is Abigail from Foundation C. What was your favourite part about this week? 